Hello, I'm Mary Deltz for Lightpost Publishing. Today, it's my pleasure to invite you to the unveiling of Thomas Kincaid's latest painting. Let's join Tom at the studio for the sneak preview. Carmel is known for the beautiful village itself, and of course I've painted that village now three times. Uh, but I have also enjoyed over the years documenting the little cottages of Carmel. And I've started a series called the Carmel Flower Cottages. And I have enjoyed so far doing two paintings and this will be my third. The first painting in the series was entitled Morning Glory Cottage. I had no idea that it would launch such a definitive series for me. I just wanted to document that beautiful cottage as it sat there in the sunshine. There was a great sense of dappled light going over that cottage and I tried to capture that in that painting. Now the second piece, which is called Hollyhock House, was another Carmel cottage that has always caught my attention. Every time I've passed it, I've thought, I want to pull out my easel and set to work to document it. And I did do that about two years ago. Then this third painting is entitled Foxglove Cottage. This particular cottage is a real cottage, as is all of the three cottages in the series. However, I really had to change the cottage quite a bit to make it appeal to me from the sense of the texture and the form that I like. Well, I was working in the rain when I started this painting. In fact, it was one of those days that Carmel just seems to glow with color because everything gets coated with moisture. And as I set up my easel in the rain, I noticed that there was a little cottage that seemed almost to be glowing from within. It was as though people were inside. They maybe had their tea brewing for the morning. I couldn't help just stopping right there, setting up the easel and going to work. There was a morning mist that began to settle as I worked and I noticed a certain type of flower that was here or there around the cottage. It was the foxglove flower, beautiful little bells of color on a long stem. And of course I couldn't resist putting that into the painting. I brought all kinds of color into the foxgloves. Had to add a few too, so I hope the owners of the real cottage don't mind a little regardening effort that I had to do on their behalf. Well, as I was working on this painting, I couldn't help taking liberties with the cottage, even though all three of the Carmel cottages are based on real places. In each case, I had to change it quite a bit to make it come to life as a painting, quite the way that I would like it to. In this case, I had to change some of the forms and texture of the cottage itself. I was inspired by the sense of the large tree to the left of the cottage. And I did enjoy the sense of distance as we stepped back into the morning mist. Now those were effects that were there in the real setting. However, I had to change the cottage in a few specific ways. One way uh, was that I made it into a stone cottage. I really am intrigued with this idea of stones of different colors. And I liked the idea that the stones were weathered and old, almost like an old English cottage. Now in, in actual fact, the real cottage is a plaster-sided cottage that is painted sort of a buff tone. And it was beautiful in its setting, but I felt it needed a little more interest and texture. Of course, the real cottage in Carmel had a wood shingle roof, and I decided to change that as well. I put in a slate roof in honor of all those beautiful cottages uh, that I studied and sketched when I was living in the Cotswolds. Uh, my wife and I loved those slate roofs. They all seemed to weather so beautifully. It gave me a chance to put a lot of interesting color into the roof as I worked. I really had the idea on this painting that we were looking at a very rustic, very countryside type setting. I had the idea in mind that you would wander down this little path and come into a forest, maybe be nowhere near a village, just be on your own uh, in the midst of nature. What a beautiful setting to build a little cottage. As I was working on the final details of the painting, I was thinking back on some of the wonderful little touches that bring the scene alive as I work. Uh, I remember a little kitty cat that came along and made her nest right on the fence as I was working and the birds that always seem to be about. You have the wonderful sense of motion of birds that always seem to flit about and make song in the air. Well, I had the 
privilege of showing this painting recently to my wife and one of her friends. I was thrilled at the comment of my wife's friend who said, boy, I love that fence. There's something about that fence that is so charming. And I do love to paint fences. You'll notice this one is overgrown with flowers and has that sense of rustic, broken down quality to it as though it's been there maybe for decades and decades. And yet there's a gate. And the gate too is symbolic to me. It's a way of entering into this cottage. And I like to think of my paintings as gateways for the imagination, a way to bring people into a different world and hopefully share a little of God's love and his light as they enter that world of peace. So I hope you enjoy this painting and thank you for sharing the light. For personal viewing of this latest painting or other works by Thomas Kincaid, please contact your local gallery 